Hey, I've been exploring meditation for years now and trying to learn from a bunch of different people and kind of like connect the things that really resonate with me and that work the best for me. And I want to start sharing things with you because I think it's a topic that we all want to kind of maybe go deeper and learn more about. I get a lot of questions from friends and family and clients and all that about meditation. So I thought I would share something that's really helped me, right? So we're all just going to sit there, right? And you try to clear your mind and it's it's funny like I don't think it's not that easy right we have so many thoughts going on and so many things in our mind that I feel like when we force try to force to not have thoughts or to just let them pass and all that it's great it might work but one thing that I realized is that the thoughts are gonna be there right thoughts are going to be there so as you're sitting down right there all relaxed and just trying to clear your mind one thing that has really helped me and I learned this from, well, I learned it from a lot of people, but I know Abraham Hicks recommends this a lot. And it is to add appreciation to your meditation, right? And I never recommend anything that I don't try. And when I try this, right, you're sitting there all nice and calm and quiet and relaxed. And when you start to think about things you're grateful for, th things you appreciate in your life, right? It, I, sometimes I feel like it gets us out of the head and into the heart, which is something that is not that easy to do. And a lot of people ask me how to do that. So I think when we start, we're, we're thinking about, oh, what I got to do tomorrow, and my boss is asking me to do this, and oh, my family needs this, and all that, right? It's all up here. And you start to go to a place of appreciation and gratitude. You start to, in my opinion, to come down to the heart, right? and you start to realize the things you're grateful for. And it's funny, the more you get into that mood, into that place, the more things you realize you have in your life to be grateful for. And I think it's beautiful when you get into that place, right? I like the phrase, what you appreciate, appreciates, right? It grows in your life. You see more opportunities to be grateful for more things in your life and I think Abraham, Abraham Hicks share how it increases the momentum right and they talk a lot about the vortex and get it into that place where you maybe attract the things that are meant for you and things that you want and I think getting into that place of appreciation whether or not you believe in the law of attraction and attracting things to you and all that I don't care if it works that way or not but it does make you feel better. And I think a lot of us go into meditation to feel better, right? You might want to clear your mind, you might want to slow down because you're going at a pace that you know you can't keep up. So if you find a tool that really works for you, that really resonates with you, and that makes you feel a lot better and maybe makes you come down to the heart and relax and relax the body and bring a smile to your face because you're realizing all the things that you, beautiful things that you have in your life that you have to be grateful for right that you can be grateful for I think that's beautiful so what if on your next meditation you try that right instead of just being quiet for however long you want to be quiet and, and trying to avoid thoughts which is very challenging what if you add appreciation and you start thinking about all the things that you're grateful for in your life give that a try let me know what you think and I'll be sharing a lot more tips about meditation with you namaste <laughs>